Hey, what's going on, man? It's Cool Water again. Uh, just doing another podcast. And I'm going to probably title this one, Steve Harvey Ain't Never Lied, but he missed the boat. And that's probably what I'll title it. Steve Harvey Ain't Never Lied, but he missed the boat. Uh, somebody tagged me on Facebook with a video about Steve Harvey talking about and it's mainly geared toward <clears throat> black folks. And he was speaking to the subject matter of stop. If he could give us some advice to the folks that's in their twenties, stop BSing around, stop bullshitting around, and really get to work. Instead of being out smoking, getting drinking, getting high, because he, you know, that's what he did. That's what we all do. So a lot of us in our twenties. All the way up to 28, 29, 30 was bullshitting around. And then he made the comment about, um, you know, by the time you, <clears throat> you know, you get to your 30s, you know what I'm saying? You kind of, you know, you kind of start trying to build and trying to put something together. By the time you 50, you really, you know, grab and hold uh, and trying to build, build a life and put the American dream together uh, for most folks. But. I agree with everything he said. The only part that uh, he missed out was it's, it starts from the cradle. It's parenting that has to be put into the picture. You know, all of us got the game from, from our parents, from our friends, from our friends' parents. We all learn to get on the, 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 the fun train at an early age because that's what we seen everybody else doing. Black folks ain't generally, man, too serious about nothing uh, unless we playing sports. Like I was a basketball player. You know, I played soccer. I played, you know, I ran cross country, you know, uh, did football one time. But unless, you know, a lot of us is sports, cheerleading, you know, doing hair. Typically, you're not going to find a lot of us real serious about building the American dream, which goes back again to what Claude Anderson spoke of when he spoke about a white child having 87% of what he needs from birth. So he can get it from his family, it's in his race, it's in his church, it's in his community, he can go down the street and touch it, he can go borrow the money from somebody at a uh, at a banking institution, they got everything what they need, you know, uh, the Asian community, you know, they studying, they in the books 12, 10, 12, 11 hours a day to, uh, you know, reach the heights of academic professionalism beyond the normal people. You know, they run in the universities, they in the science, they in the tech, they, you know, they producing. Um, you know, we play too much. Just like, you know, I be in the schools, you know, from time to time, you know, I jump in and out the schools. And, you know, you see it in the kids, they come in playing. You know, they come in with that mentality of, uh, uh, you know, all I want to do is goof off. It's in the it's in the parenting, man. And then, you know, you got to go back to the slave slave era, too, because uh, a lot of the slave masters, if you wasn't, you know, if you if you was caught on a Sunday not being in church, you got rounded up. You got served going to church. If you was caught not spending your money. You know, I did that. I did the, the podcast, Black Entrepreneur. Who killed the Black Entrepreneur? Look out for that. Uh, I got teas and stuff on deck, so people really starting to take hold to this this concept that I that I put out here. Uh, if you was caught not spending your money, you know, uh, when you got paid, you know, you typically was gonna get harassed. You was called not out at the, you know, the, the frolicly from being frolicky and playing all the time. You was gonna tend to get harassed. You know, these folks out here don't want you, they don't want you serious. They need you at the club. They need you, they need you over there at Nike. They need you, you know, they need you wasting money. So, you know, Steve made a very good point. Cause a lot of us was in our 20s BS. We wasn't building for the American dream. Now myself, I played, but my goal was to get a recording contract. So I was out doing that at the same time. And then in my thirties, I was working twice as hard to get that 
you know, uh, so I, I wouldn't say I was always playing, but I did have fun. You know what I'm saying? But in the back of my mind, I knew I was trying to rise. I was on my grind. But most of us, man, we, 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 we don't get that game. It's coming from the parenting. Your parents don't know. My mother didn't know. She don't have anything, you know, to pass down. You know, my pops, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't there. He went to school. He got a degree, but he wasn't interested in passing nothing down. He didn't put nothing in me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the game that he spit was real. Uh, it's well taken, you know, all the trials and tribulations that he went through. Uh, I know he mentioned some about, you know, this, how you get a hundred, you know, get, get some money in your pocket. You know, uh, uh, a lot of these folks, man, these black entertainers, man, they got to start talking broad, you know, Damon Dash, he talking broad, you know, you got to be a boss. If you working for somebody, all of that shit sound good, man, but you ain't leave no blueprint. You ain't left no blueprint. You ain't left no book where we can pick it up and, and, and take that concept. You speaking from emotionalism. You speaking from a point of, okay, I done rose. Let me tell y'all what y'all should be doing. You coming with the preacher mentality. You feel me? Steve Harvey, you know, he's speaking. He giving his advice. He giving his knowledge and his wisdom. And it sounds good because he's at the top of the food chain right now. But, you know, ain't ain't no the same way you laid down the book for these, these, these chicks out here to supposedly get a man and that ain't working. The same way you need to lay something down for these brothers and sisters out here, man, who trying to aspire to get to the level that you may be at, you know. So I'm going to end it because, uh, I mean, it ain't a whole lot to be said, man. I mean, part of it is, is parenting. Part of it is the uh, societal uh, mindset that has been given to us as African-American people to play, you know, waste, don't invest, don't save, you know, uh be be you know be promiscuous you know the whole nine you know what i'm saying so when you speak about these particular topics you gotta speak with with a solution in mind with a plan in mind you know no no he just you know he just rattling off you know game i mean and it's cool but 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 the cat that's 20 something he ain't gonna be able to grab hold of it Unless he already into that mindset and kind of got something going on for itself and really pushed forward with it. It's, it's just going to be rhetoric. You know what I mean? So, uh, this cool water, man. Check me out. It's hiphopdead.com. Look for the uh, podcast, uh, African American Entrepreneurship's Holocaust. Who killed the black entrepreneur? Look out for them tees. They on deck. <clears throat> Who killed the black entrepreneur tease? Find me at Facebook, Cool Water 101. You can find me at uh Twitter, Cool Water 101, Google Plus, Mr. Alexander, LinkedIn, Cool Water 101, uh my website, coolwater101.com. Uh email should be in there. But uh get at me. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. And again, you know, y'all just gotta really stay in the books. You gotta stay looking for your own solutions, man. Cause everybody talking. Ain't nobody really showing you shit. I'm out. Peace and stay blessed. Holla.